Don't you hate it when people give advice about something when they've never done it themselves? Like a lot of people ask me tips about inventing. I mean, I've talked to hundreds of inventors and innovators, but I haven't done it myself. This is why I like to rely on our past inventors to answer that question. Why ask a Mo when you can ask a pro? For an idea to take flight often takes thousands of hours of dedicated hard work. And that driving force to create something new can only come from one place. Just believe in yourself. When somebody tells you it's impossible, just put your limit and prove that what you imagine and you dream is for sure possible. Never think an idea is a bad idea. Always work as a team and ask others and work on creating ideas that you think will change the world. You don't really know where to start and you can get really overwhelmed by the big picture vision. But what's most important is just that you break it up into pieces and you start taking those steps little by little and you start putting, putting it out there. But what about physical challenges or a disability? Sometimes they're just the thing that gives you an edge. Being dyslexic was probably a huge advantage for me. I have an amazing ability to feel what's wrong. So I can actually solve things much quicker than someone else. And so I think like being dyslexic, you have these other skill sets. And there's no need to worry if you lack the technical skills to build something yourself. Tim and I are inventors and we're innovators, but we are not engineers. Yeah. So we started with the whiteboard and said, hey, if we were to take over odor, take over the world one cent at a time, <laughs> how do we do it? From there, it was bringing in smart engineers to make sure that what we developed was effective, safe, and applicable at a cost that people could afford. Absolutely. Yes, innovation is hard work, but sometimes we need to give our brains a break. I think that's something that we undervalue is imagination, and we undervalue mind wandering. And I think these are really productive, pragmatic practices to instill in kids who are just learning, in college students who need to step away from the grind of their coursework to go sit in a park and just think about nothing, that this is where inspiration comes from. And to those creative risk takers and tinkerers who have shared their hearts, ideas, and struggles with us, thank you for your gift of inspiration, which plants the seeds for future innovations.